we're going to be flattening some 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe to use on the CNC machine. There are a lot of different ways to heat this stuff up and make it flat. The way I'm going to do it is using a sliding compound miter saw. A table saw would be fine. You can use hand tools also. But basically this is the way I'm going to do it. Just cut the end off here, obviously. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this one side so that it can be melted and laid flat. There are a lot of ways to do this also. A table saw would be another way to do it. The way we do it on here is keep pressure down there, cut the top, and then run it through the, the heating jig. It's been cut on one side. Next is to take out the heating container and set this up. It's kind of deceptive, but this two inch piece when it's heated and laid flat gives you almost an eight inch piece of plexiglass. Doesn't look like that would give eight inches unfolded, but it does. There are lots of ways to heat up PVC. Some people have used ovens. Some people use open flames. I don't like the open flame because the gases that it emits can be kind of dangerous. This is not my design. This is a paint can from the hardware store for $4. Cut a hole in the top, some holes in the side. The heat gun will sit through there. A little bit of heat, little bit of heat can come out the sides. This will go over there and we'll heat it up for somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute. It'll get real soft. That'll come out. Lay it down on some particle board and then stand on it. And it should come out nice and flat. Then we can trim it up a little bit. And that's pretty flat. I'm going to cut some more and make sure that I don't have any print on the back because I want a little bit larger piece. If you're just using a smaller section or you're making washers or something that that doesn't matter, then it's certainly not an issue. But got the, the same consistency as regular PVC pipe. Pretty easy to do. Let's do some more of these. This is our high-tech flattening process. About 175 pounds of pressure. <laughs> and there's our flat piece. That is beautifully flat. Little bit of a curve on this side. Well, that's pretty good. And same consistency as PVC pipe. Still nice and toasty warm. So about 60 seconds in the can. And a couple pieces of our flattened PVC. Squared this up, clean up the edges so we can make some litho panes. And a couple pieces ready for some litho panes. I didn't take a lot of time in really trying to square these up so they're not perfectly square. But as far as how flat they are, Pretty flat. And on the CNC, we'll kind of clamp it down and we'll see, see what kind of results we can get. A little more heat to these and a little bit more time, maybe a little more pressure on those pieces of wood would make it even flatter. As a comparison to quarter inch Corian, the Schedule 2 or the Schedule 40 2 inch PVC pipe is 0.154 inches wall thickness. So, some adjustments will be made in our carve program to make up for that.
There's our PVC tagged down. The Corian, I don't use any spacers here because it's flat enough. Without these spacers here pushing on the sides, the PVC kind of bowed up ever so slightly. So this way just keeps it much more flat on the deck. And since we're using PVC that's 0.154 inches wall thickness, we're going to change our carved depth to about half that and see, see how that performs. Another thing I'm doing a little bit differently for this one, instead of using the 60 degree bits I picked up at the local hardware store, I ordered these online. These are carbide bits, still 60 degree. But we're going to give these a try on here. These are full carbide, the other ones were carbide tipped. This is our PVC ready to go. Everything's all set. And this is comparing the PVC to an ivory piece of Corian. The Corian is on the right, PVC is on the left. The color tone is pretty similar. The Corian is brighter a little bit. First results with flattened PVC. May need to work on the depth settings or a different cutter. You can see the picture there, it's not as clear as the Corian. But this is the first first try at this. So interesting. Something to something to work on. This is also the first test with that different 60 degree router bit. But learning as I go. Thanks for taking a look.